Namaste beautiful yogis. Today we are doing vinyasa and I'm inspired to do a sadness theme today just when you feel sad or when you're contemplating the sadness of life or the sad elements of life which are just a part of life. They're um, unavoidable part of life. It is the attitude that we choose that defines how we feel about life, but sadness is nonetheless a part of life just because in sadness we actually can have the opportunity to expand, um, to grow and to progress. Now, I don't know why I've been contemplating it, maybe because I have more indoor time in Texas and because I've had a lot of sadness, especially in my teenagers. I've contemplated sadness and I've, I understand the aspect of sadness really well, but also I understand the aspect of life that is extremely joyous. So, and that's the one I prefer to choose if I can. And usually with mindfulness we can choose. Obviously there's times in life when we are called to experience the stages of sadness or the stages of joy, etc. grief. But today we're going to do a class about sadness. You don't have to be sad to do this class because it will be vinyasa. But if you're sad, you can come to it as well. And let's step the feet, he put it apart. I like to immediately connect to the core. That's the reason why we want to eat a little less or completely empty stomach, I should say, before classes because it allows for more space for the lungs and the diaphragm to unfold rather than if our stomachs are full, then it's a little, um, it's impossible actually to use the full capacity of the diaphragm and the lungs. <coughs> Roll the shoulders back and down, open the arms out and really reach to the sides. Smile. And see sadness in your life or the theme of sadness as a wave that flows and you're just with no resistance flowing through it, seeing the waves and smiling and down. When we stop resisting things, then we can move forward. So we're seeing ourselves flowing with no resistance and with complete and full surrender. Letting everything flow and unfold. And you can start actually moving your body in a flow, wave-like motion. Feeling the waves. The waves of life. and squat all the way down, feeling your joints, round your back and reach in front of you, inhale, open the chest and come up, vibrant, exhale, now standing, rounding the back, inhale, open, Bend the knees, exhale, rounding, inhale, open, exhale, rounding, inhale, open, exhale, rounding, inhale, open. And now, clasp the hands behind, arch and look up. And back to standing, pull the belly in, engaging, engaging the belly. <coughs> From here, we're going to bring the hands onto the knees. And as we exhale, we're going to go for a vacuum. One more time. Take an extra breath in between. <coughs> And one more time. Mm -hmm. 
beautiful. And from here, standing with connection to the core. We're going to point the feet out, bring the heels together, and spread your toes. Come on to the tippy toes, lower down, come on to the tippy toes, lower down, come on to the tippy toes, lower down, come on to the tippy toes, lower down. Circle with your toes, right leg circles, back to center, circle with the left, back to center. From here we are going to come on to the tippy toes, take a little squat, lower down, back to feet parallel to each other, chair. Shifting the weight onto your right leg, hold here like a bird, step it back, high lunge, lower the left leg down, one, two, three, four, five, you can go for the waves, moving and just getting into the joints, get into your shoulders, feel them, get into the back muscles. Fill them with, with fluidity. Great. Left hand on the floor, right arm up, twist, and reach over the head. Roll to the other edges of the feet, opening the hip here. And face forward now. Reaching with your right hand forward. Our right foot is still on the ground and you can open here the knee. Let it drop to the side. Flex the foot. Step onto your foot and take a big step into warrior three. Open the arms out. A few waves here. Focusing on balance. Great. Coming up, bring the left ankle over the right knee, flex the left foot, left hip open. Bird stands, chair. Shifting onto the left leg, bird stands, high lunge. And we're going to lower the knee. One, two, control, squeezing. Four, five. Moving, getting into the back muscles, shoulder joints, elbows, wrists, fingertips, chest, even. Great. From here, right hand on the floor, twist. Try not to collapse on your right hand. Feel your legs working here, your core working. Roll to the other edges of your feet, reaching over the head. From here, Onto the toes on the right side. Stay on the, on the average of the left foot. Flex the foot. Let the knee drop out with the flex foot. That's important. It's a very important aspect of aligning the joints, ankle, knee. Step onto your foot. Pull the belly in and come into warrior three. And you can move here with the waves. Water. And bird. Chair. From here, squat all the way down. Sit onto your body. Roll into plow. And we're gonna jump up as we roll out. Roll out into a squat and jump. And hold chair. Exhale forward, 
the fault. Smile back at yourself. Seeing yourself is another weakness and smiling back at yourself. Going to come back up and bring the right ankle on top of the left knee, flex the foot, opening the right hip. Great chair, step onto the right leg from bird into high lunge, drop the back knee, open the chest. This is a pose of joy and heart expansion. Coming back into high lunge, hands in prayer. Twist. From here, bring your left knee behind, behind the right ankle. Twist. One more twist. See the twist? Coming back up, hands on the ground, standing half splits, warrior three, and from here we're going to wrap the right leg around, right hand forward, cross wrap, lift, soften. All this twisting and moving is Allowing the breath to go deeper. Sometimes when we're sad, we deep, take shallow breaths. This class is about fluidity, moving, no resistance, and deeper breathing. And allowing, allowing. All right. Chair. Great. Shift it over to the right leg. Bird. High lunge. Left hand on the floor, twist, roll onto the upper edges of your feet, take a side plank, star side plank, plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog. See, you don't have to do down dog, always to do vinyasa. There is other ways to create a sequence and move the body. And 
and feel the body. Walk your feet between the hands, chair. Shifting onto the left leg. Again, fluidity. Step it back. Right hand on the floor. Twist the rope on the hips. Star side plank. Plank. chair to the front of the mat chair bring your hands behind open here we're going to bring the hands in prayer twist to one side open the chest exhale completely center opposite side center opposite side take the right foot back high lunge with a twist, prayer twist. Prayer is the highest form of connecting of higher consciousness and creating a space within for unity. Clasping under maybe, if you can. Step to the front and stepping on the left leg. Come up, holding your twist. Open here. Three pose, release. And you can adjust your hips before you go from a twist into openness. You can come into the center. Three pose. Sliding the foot over the right knee, sit back, chair, and let's bring the left elbow into the left foot, twist again, lots of twisting today, and let's take up arm balance, and back to twist, great. Release the elbow to fold, grab your foot into your upper arm, inner elbow, come up flexing the foot, very good, chair, open the chest, clasping behind, open, hands in prayer, chair, twist, to the right side now, take the left foot back, twist, empty the lungs, create this emptiness. In emptiness there is symmetry and there is no imbalance of emotion, in nothingness. Clasp under. Step it to the front. Make sure you have a tight clasp and come up. And from here, you can adjust the hips and now the both. So as you adjust the hips, coming to the center, coming to neutral hips, and now open. Mm -hmm. 
are again in this prayer movement and so over the heart, creating a space of inviting unity oneness, which is a quiet state of prayer. Love is our true nature, so when we step out of love, we experience not aspects of ourselves which are not as aligned with truth, the true nature of who we are. Let's glide the right ankle over the left knee, twist, and take a twist here, right elbow on the outside of the left knee, and from here, hands on the ground, I will stay in the, I'll face you so that I stay in the shot and open here and back and release the twist here, bring your foot into your inner elbow and come up. I'm going to walk on the long side of the mat in chair in reverse. Here, stepping it out slowly into plie and moving, moving, moving in the ways that your body has the movement already existing as great. Let's move just the waist. There is, um, there is 
after explosion, if pollution happens, so we start to uh, go towards entropy. After explosion creation, there's entropy, involution, and we go towards a black hole. And the past is all entropy, and the future is the projection that creates the present. It's really, it's really interesting to say the least. And the spiritual, the spiritual aspect of it is that we can. Re create the past with the present and the future. So that's a mind spin. But particles in physics, they react, they would change their past measurements according to their future measurements just to keep things um, consistent because nature wants to be consistent and coherent. So things would change their past just to be consistent with the present and the future. And that's how conscious everything around is, the universe, every particle, everything is consciousness. And there is unlimited options and possibilities and we have the free will to choose whatever we want and with our free will to create. Not just a good future, but there is a possibility to create a different past. How weird is that? How crazy, crazy is that and that really goes with the concept of sadness the reason why i was listening or contemplating sadness is because i listened to someone's story about how much sadness there is in their life and i had forgotten how much sadness i had experienced before i shifted my mind it was a shift internal and i almost forget that it, i ever was in the same because I choose nowadays not to be. It's, it's something we are free to choose. It's beautiful. Step on the outer and the inner. In, outer and inner parts of your feet. All right. For the Balabati breath, give me all you got. <laughs> so we're gonna exhale through the mouth and on the last one, you really lock, lock it out, the breath. The last breath will be and hope, but we'll build up to that. So with hyperventilation, there is a lot of benefits as well to the mind as well. It removes anxiety. So let's go. You inhale and you exhale forcefully. The last exhalation is real forceful, locking the breath out. Let's go. Slide the leg forward and 
take a wild thing. Maybe take your right foot off the floor. Plank. Right leg off the floor. We're going to jump the left foot between the hands. Come up, jump, plank, push up with one leg, jump, tuck jump, plank, push up, that's three, four, push up, and five, Push up. From here we're gonna do five mini jumps. Left foot to the front and back. So one, two, three, four, and five. And from here, take your right knee between the elbows. One, two, three, four. Five to the right elbow, one, two, three, four, five, left elbow, one, two, three, four, five, step it down and take the left leg up. Jump into jump up, one, push up. Keep going, two push-ups. Jump, tuck. Three push-ups. Four push-ups. Five push-ups. Five jumps. One, one leg jumps. Two.
hands, bring the hands over the solar plexus and the belly button. Hold here for a few moments. Those are your centers of intuition, which may or may not be strong for you. Bring the hands over. You probably know if they're strong or if they're not. And just hold it, accepting whatever they are. It doesn't, they don't need to be one or the other. They're what they are right now. And just holding here with acceptance and love. Your hands touching your body with love. You're giving yourself the, the hold, the hug that you need. Stay here for a few moments. Feel your hands emitting energy. Feel the energy, especially if you're on um, naked skin. But even through clothes, you can feel energy through anything. Feeling that you are there for yourself feeling the love and acceptance that you have for yourself allowing yourself all emotions from sadness to joy surrender to resistance even allowing everything to be giving yourself the permission to be who you are and to unfold to use this place right now wherever you're at as a trampoline Towards your 